Hi there, I'm Amy Cassandra Martinez for Red Carpet Report at the launch for the Netflix FYC space. Going into 13 Reasons Why, what has that been like for you? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a kind of a thrill. I was a fan of the first season. Um, and the, the people I work mostly with in the, in the second season um, are some of the not so nice characters. So, you know, when I, <laughs> when I rocked up to meet them all, I was like, you SOB, you know, like, I'm like, and they're so nice, you know, they're like the nicest people in the world um, and not nearly as tough as their on-screen characters. So, um, you know, I, pretty quickly I was like, oh, no, you're all, oh, you're pussycats. But yeah, it was, it was, it was interesting. So, can you tell us what your character's like? Is, are we going to root for him, or are we going to be like, what the heck are you doing? Well, like all the characters in the show, um, the coach is, uh, is, uh, is not all good or all bad, you know, the, and what's, that's what kind of makes the show so interesting and the characters so complex, is that um, even, the, even our heroes in the show have done um, questionable things. So, um, my character fits that, you know, I think his intentions are good, but some of uh, the actions might not be good. Ah, oh, man, that, if that's, that's, no, no, that's... I know, I know, look, I'm sorry, I wish I could tell you more. No, it's okay, that's making us think already. I feel like all of us trying to figure out exactly where you are gonna fit in and like what you're gonna do to us, basically. So I'm excited, I'm excited. I hope I don't break your heart. Oh, man. Just remember, remember this smiling, nice guy face. We will. What was it like for you to jump into something where, uh, you know, like everyone's already established those relationships? Uh, anything that surprised you besides, you know, people being really nice? For everyone just being so sweet. Um, it, they made it really easy, and I've done that before. I think most actors have joined uh, a pre existing show, and sometimes it's difficult, you know, because um, people have their kind of, you know, relationships formed in their, their, their niches. But um, these guys were great, guys and girls. Everyone was so sweet on set, um, and uh, it made it really pleasurable for me. As pleasurable as a show like 13 Reasons Why I can be. Well, okay, and now a big, big question. Yeah. There were therapy dogs on set, correct? Oh, were there? there oh, no, you did Therapy didn't dogs? Yes. Where the hell was I? Oh, no. Okay, so for season three, you'll have to come back, exactly. play with the dogs. So I was going to be like, do you have a favorite dog? Oh, man. oh man. Well, I just got a puppy. I got a little, uh, I got a little Shih Tzu Poodle, and he's, he's like the best. So I'll bring him to season three. I'll just bring him along and hand him around. Oh, that's so fun. Last little question. Yeah. What are you currently binge watching? Do you know what? I'm watching Cobra Kai. Uh, yeah, I, which is on YouTube, which I probably shouldn't be should be talking about, but um, I'm, look, I'm a kid of the 80s, so uh, I'm a massive Karate Kid fan, and, and, and Cobra Kai is really good. Once you've watched everything on Netflix, then watch Cobra Kai. <laughs> well, what is it? Wax on, wax off. There you go. I get him a body bag. I mean, I could quote you the whole film right now, but I won't. We'll do that next time. Please. Thank you so much for talking to us. You too. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video two thumbs up, ten thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below what is your favorite Netflix show.